How should I pay myself as a small business owner? Salary, dividend, year-end bonus? This is a question that many small business owners ask themselves as they try to minimize the amount of tax that they need to pay. There are a few options of how you can draw an income from your business, including salary, dividends, or year-end bonus, or simply a combination of these three. Next, we'll look at the different income streams and some of the pros and cons of each. Let's get started. Salary. When you pay yourself a salary, you are considered to be an employee of your company. The salary that you receive does need to be reasonable in relationship to the role you take in the company, so as to not raise questions at tax time. Wages that are paid out are considered to be a tax deduction to the business. This means that the company will not be taxed on the wages paid out. These wages will be taxed at a personal level though, at both the provincial and the federal rate. More specifically in BC, an individual is looking at the following tax rates in 2021. At the federal level, one is looking at the following tax rates for 2021. This salary that you are now receiving is considered personal income. Besides the benefit of having a personal cash flow, having a personal income can also help you when you are looking for a personal loan or a mortgage. Some financial institutions look specifically for this personal, steady income that is separate from the business. Since you are now earning a salary, your company will be doing payroll. This is where necessary deductions are taken off, including tax and CPP. As a shareholder who owns more than 40% of the company's shares, you'll not need to take off a deduction for employment insurance. Being an employee, you may find payroll to be beneficial and that you'll likely not have to pay additional tax at tax time because it's already been paid by the source, your company. On the other hand, you may find setting up payroll making these source deductions and remitting them to the CRA cumbersome. In addition to your salary now being 100% taxed, your company is now responsible for paying for CPP. Simply stated, half of your CPP contribution is paid by your corporation and half is taken off your, the employee's, paycheck. As a benefit, this amount that you're contributing to CPP now will be available to you in your retirement. Dividends. A dividend is the distribution of some of the company's earnings. In order to get paid dividends, you must be a shareholder of the company. Since these dividends are considered to be a distribution of profits to the shareholders, this means that the corporation has a taxable income. The dividends are not a tax deduction for the business like a salary is, and the corporation will have to pay tax since the dividends are paid as after-tax earnings of the company. Dividends are taxed at a lower rate than a salary at the personal level because the corporation has already paid a portion of these taxes. It is important to consult the tax professional to compare taking dividends and paying tax at both the personal and corporate level uh, compared to wages where tax is taken only at the personal level. If you choose to take out dividends, you'll need to remember that this money will be taxed at the personal level unless you take less than the federal or provincial personal amounts. Depending on the value of your dividends, you may be required to make quarterly tax installments, or you may need to set aside some of the money being paid out to you as dividends for tax time. If you don't need much personal income, you may choose to keep your funds in the corporation so it continue to work for you. When you choose to take out dividends, this can be at a time that works best for both you and your corporation. You may also find that paying yourself or any other shareholder's dividends is simpler than having to set up payroll. Another benefit of dividends is that you don't need to take any deductions for employment insurance or Canada Pension Plan, which saves your business money now. You do need to remember at retirement though that since contributions were not made, there will be nothing on the other end. Another point to remember is that dividends are not considered to be earned income. This means that they do not create RSP contribution room for you so you'll not have this benefit when filing your personal income tax return. If you do not have another source of income that is classified as earned income though, 
This is taken into consideration for your RRSP contribution and benefit that can be used to benefit your dividend income at tax time. Year-end bonus. As a business owner, you can take a bonus based on income needed and how the company is doing. A small business may choose to use a combination of salary, dividends, and a year-end bonus, depending on how the company is doing. This bonus will count as a tax deduction, even if it's not paid out right away. When the bonus is paid out, you'll need to pay personal tax on it, and the tax rate will depend on your annual income. Again, you'll need to evaluate your business and your personal income to determine the specific tax rates that you're looking at, depending on which province you live in. Lastly, a bonus is considered to be earned income, which means that you'll need to deduct Canada Pension Plan contributions and income tax at the source, your business. On the positive side though, because the bonus is considered to be earned income, it can be used towards your RRSP contribution room. Need help from an expert? If you need clarification on salary and payroll, dividends and bonuses, and which is best for you and your company, let one of our experts at Valley Business Center help. For over 30 years, Valley Business Center has been providing comprehensive bookkeeping, payroll, and tax services to our clients in Whistler, Squamish, the Sea to Sky Corridor, and Metro Vancouver, BC areas. Valley Business Center provides reliable and effective services to all clients. If you found this information helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and also make sure to subscribe for more helpful information. Thank you so much for watching.